Hey guys, Flying Dutchie here and welcome to Hotvine 4 in our second attempt as Argentina. And this time we are going to play on Historical Focus. So if you didn't follow my first uh, uh, playthrough, it will pop up now in the screen. Uh, we did an Argentina run there with a non-historical and that was going very, became very difficult. And this time I think I will play as Historical AI Focuses. So that uh, we know what's going to happen. And uh, this way I think we can have more of a foothold at the start. And not get killed. So yeah, if you want to watch my, f my first run. Uh, you have to click that over here. And uh, let's just go in right now. This will be going a lot quicker. Uh, I'm going to call this Ironman Argentina 1. I did some test runs as well. See if it's actually better. And it is. So, uh, And in the previous run we for completely forgot to take the fleets from the countries that we take down. Uruguay has some fleets and Chile as well and we can take those and we never did this in the first run so uh, yeah that was a bit of a mistake I guess. Now let's just go over all the things here again. Uh, we always start with well maybe not actually because we also want, oh we don't have military factories, let's just go and do the production thing here. Now, for the Focus tree, uh, we are going to go and do the Fascist tree once again. And we are going to do it uh, very, very quickly. Uh, but we will get the Banca Central de la República Argentina. Uh, this one is just way too good. We get 20% industrial research speed and we have less consumer goods. So we will pick this one and then we will go instantly into the Fascist tree over here. So we do one production tag here. That we also did, I think, uh, in the first run. Okay, we're going to put all our divisions in the army. We are going to get all military factories not making planes. But you're going to make artillery. We're also making guns. And we need uh, trucks. And we need trains. And then we need anti-air, I guess. Well, let's do it like this. So we want to produce all these things. Uh, we also want to produce support equipment. We don't have that unlocked at the start. Now for the co uh, the, the dockyards. Uh, I think we are going to start with building a little bit of convoys only. We'll go very slow because we don't have that much uh, steel. Civilian factories. We are going to build some more. Uh, I'm not going to do infrastructure in this run. I think that is not worth it. So we just start uh, building civilian factories at the 40% states. We have no divisions in training. Let's put one in training to get rid of that thing. We have no close air support and fighters. I know, let's cancel it. Uh, we could do the eco economy policies, but we're not going to do those at the start. We're going to use our political power for other things. And that should be it for now. Um, I will put this one over here for my submarines. And this is our main fleet of course, and we are going to get a huge fleet now, since I will take the fleets from our neighbors that we are going to conquer. That's going to be very interesting, we are going to train you a little bit so we get some naval experience. And then I will, will be back with something when something happens. Italy moves to annex the Sultanate of Alsa, so this always happens in the historical game. Italy is going uh, after Ethiopia and uh, the Sultanate of Hausa appears. And, or they are at the beginning at the, on the map and Italy is going to kill them. I will also put my troops at the border with Uruguay since that will be the first thing I am going to do. And there we go, the Sultanate of Osa submits to the Italian demands and they are annexed by Italy. Okay, I will stop my fleet training because we are out of fuel. Uh, so that they will go back to the ports over here. Uh, maybe we need some repairs. But we only have <coughs> one naval dockyard, so we're not going to repair that quickly. Um, yeah, that's just how it's going to be at the start of the game. Okay, we completed our focus and Germany is remilitarizing re the Rhineland. So yeah, we are doing historical focus, so it's going to happen uh, all the time. And that means that we now have unlocked the uh, Banco Central de la República Argentina. And we get 20% industrial research speed that we are going to use. And the next focuses will all be going fascist. We need to do this as quickly as we can so that we can take a couple of countries around us without any interference. 
And for that we need to go to Roberto Maria Ortiz. Uh, he will give us a lot of political power that we are going to use. And he gives some nice uh, uh, bonuses to advisors. And we get a bit of fascism already. Turkey remilitarized the Turkish Straits. Turkey and the Soviet Union have come to an agreement on revising the Treaty of Lausanne. Always happens in historical uh, focus as well. We have completed electronical mechanical engineering. And we are instantly going for the mechanical computing, so we get another 4% research speed over here. The second London Naval Treaty signed. Delegation from Britain, France, Italy, Japan and the US met in December to discuss a renewal of the first London Naval Treaty. which restricted the number of size of cruisers and submarines. For now, things are looking very peaceful. And we have researched basic machine tools and that means we will of course do the, inst uh, the industry stuff because we do have the 20% Banco Central bonus over here so we can do these uh, researches a lot quicker. So we will keep doing this. Okay, we are going to complete Roberto Maria Ortiz very soon. We are going to uh, replace Augustin over here. He was actually really good for construction. Uh, one more day. There we go. There is Roberto Maria. And he of course gives a little bit more political power. Uh, we also get more uh, democracy support and unaligned support, which is not that great. But we are going to make changes right now um, to this. So first things first, we are going to get our first advisor. And we are going to go with the silent workhorse here, so that we get 15% more political power gain. As you remember from the last run, we need a lot of political power to do all the integrations of all the provinces. And we have more things to do, like uh, getting the people from uh, Italy and Germany uh, to Argentina, the uh, focus for immigration. So we're going to pick uh, Giulio over here. Now we do have some sp uh, political power coming up now. Uh, let's first select a new focus. Uh, we will work with the nationalists. We are going to get some fascism support and a bit of stability. And uh, democracy will go down. Now the next advisor that I'm going to get is going to be the Argentine fascist. Uh, I think in the, uh, uh, they updated this, uh, this uh, DLC. Because in my run I did not have access to the Argentine fascist uh, guy over here. So this would be helping us to get fascism earlier, and that would be very helpful. Because then we can go to war economy, so that is going to be uh, perfect. And I will be back when something happens. I'm also going to start training my ships. Uh, we have a bit more fuel again. I'm first going to train them to the level 3. Uh, the same counts actually for my submarines. Let's uh, shift click them as well. And then when I have some naval experience, we are going to make some changes. Okay, we almost have 150 political power. Let's uh, unpause. There we go. And we are going to get our fascist uh, guy over here, Nimio de Aquin. He will give daily fascism support plus 10. And that way we will become fascist earlier. Remember, we need 60% for the focus to actually switch to a fascist government. So uh, that's going to happen then. Now we do have some naval experience since I was training my ships. And when we take a look at our starting ships, we actually have a submarine 2. That is not being used, so what I always like to do is uh, put this one ready to go. Uh, just put a level 2 torpedo tube on and a good engine. And that will be more than enough for these submarines to be very efficient, so... Submarine 2. Gonna save it. And I'm actually going to put them in the queue so that I already know what I want. Now for the destroyers that we have, we have two level 2 destroyers right now. We do have the Mendoza. And we do have the... Oh, I can't open them both, apparently. Okay, well, let's first take a look at the Mendoza. That is the cheaper one. Um, this one is okay-ish. But it is not very helpful against... Um, as a screen ship. Uh, it's, it's better to have the Cervantes over here, because they also have a uh, death charge. So if submarines come into play, they will get scared away. Um... And they do have a torpedo tube, and that is the main thing I think as well. That your light ships, your screen ships, need to have a torpedo tube. So that when the enemy ground battle fleet is having a gap in the screening, my torpedoes can go havoc. So we are going to go and use this one as my destroyer to, to screens. 
And they will get the screen symbol over here. There we go. Now we do have the Mendoza class, which would maybe re be a really good one as Convoy Escorts. Convoy Escorts only need a good engine and a depth charge, and that's it. Now I'm not sure how many of the Mendoza class I have in my ships here. I have only three. Now that is perfect, I think. So we are going to go back to the ships here. And I am going to make the Mendoza class. Let's remove everything. Get a good engine. You need a battery. I don't even want a battery, but you need to. And we are going to give him a death charge. And this would be perfect. As a destroyer 2 escorts. And my escorts are the Krabbies. As, you, as everyone knows when you are watching this channel. We're going to save this. And we're going to put that into the production queue as well. So we already have these two ships that we really want. Uh, did it also change these templates? No. We could upgrade the ships into a convoy escort. But I don't think we have to. Okay. And then I will be back when uh, something happens. Nationalist Spain declared war on Spain. The uh, uh, civil war started in Spain. We are not going to intervene with it. Because it takes too much time. Uh, we really want to start uh, gobbling up the south part over here. Of our continent. And uh, this will uh, just uh, cost us more time to uh, support the Spanish coup over here. And do all the things. I think it's not worth it. Okay, next focus complete. Work with the nationalists. And that opens two new things here. We can crack down corruption. Uh, which will remove our political corruption thing. Which would be really good for extra war support. A bit more fascism support. And construction speed. Uh, we could also do cut ties with Britain. Uh, we will get minus 20% consumer goods. Which is really cool. And we have to give less resources to our market. Which is also very helpful. Uh, this, the fascism support plus 01 is a bit meh. So maybe we should do crack on uh, corruption. So that we are going to get... Um, wait, do we get extra political corruption? Oh, we do get more political power this way. Hmm. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, but we will unlock these things very quickly. So let's just go with cut ties with Britain for now. Okay. Well, I made a decision for our advisors. I think I am not going to get our third advisor. Uh, a captain of industry would be really cool to have. So that we build our civilian factories quicker. But I think it is more worth it to get our army's uh, chiefs up and running. So that we can get some free experience points. I think that is worth way more for later in the game. So I'm going to get the Manuel uh, when we have uh, 100 points here. Okay, there we go. We have 100 points. Let's get uh, Manuel here uh, to get Division Attack plus 10. We can also get Division Training Time, but we don't really care about that. So you pick you and then we will get our first army experience. And Ethiopia has capitulated. Uh, rip Ethiopia and glory to Italy, who we'll be having good relations with later in the game. Because they are also fascists. Next focus complete, cut ties with Britain, and that opens up a lot of things for us right now. So let's take a look. We can support radical nationalism, which will, which will give us a huge amount of daily fascism support for, yeah, for a long time. So that would be really cool to go fascist very quickly. We can go to war with Uruguay and annex them, but we are not that strong at the moment. Uh, we have corporatism, which will give us two military factories. And 10% more popularity in fascism, which would be really good to have. And we of course have the Spanish stuff here. I'm not interested in the Spanish stuff. Um, what you get afterwards is just not worth it in my opinion. Um, so yeah, we could do this one so that we are getting our fascism support growing automatically. Uh, this one, we want to go to the, this one, Union Nacional Fascista for the 20 uh, oh, it's now 6% division attack, apparently. Uh, and what does this one give? The training time goes up, but war support... Hmm. I 
Yeah, we're gonna go with the this one again, just like last uh, run. I think I'm gonna go with uh, support radical nationalism, so we get the fascism support over time. And then we go with corporatism for 10% fascism and two military factories. Construction 1 is done, and that means we can go to uh, concentrated industry. We are gonna get more factory output, and we still have the bonus of 20% by the Banco Central. So let's go for that one. Uh, we also have enough points again, and I will get my Chief of Air Force so that we are also gonna get some points over there. Uh, well, maybe I should go with the Navy since our Air Force is so small. Let's go with the Navy. So we can get a point three daily experience with convoy rating efficiency. Or we can get naval speed. Let's go for the convoy rating efficiency. We are going to use some of our subreads. And hopefully Chile and Brazil are going to make a lot of them. And then we can maybe capture them. Okay, support radical nationalism is done. There we go. We now have a huge amount of data change coming. Remember, we need 60% before we can pick, pick this one over here. So I don't have to focus on this one and then this one since... Uh, we have a bit of time here, so I think we're going to go with corpora corporatism, so we can get two military factories and we can get change in fascism and some political power. I think that is a very good focus. And I also forgot to put my destroyer two screens in the queue, so let's put them in. Uh, one of the most important things is that we get these screens, and on the other hand, I think Chile and uh, maybe Uruguay have some screen ships as well. So. I think we might start getting some sub... Nah, yeah, let's get some submarines, I think, first. And then that one, and then the Krabbies. I think Convoys 125 is decent, so... The new um, naval dockyard that we hopefully get when we conquer some stuff is going over there. We've completed our mechanical computing. So we have the 1936 uh, research boost. Uh, we are in 1936 of November. So we can do a couple of things now. We can uh, bank our research and then take the 1937 industrial stuff. We can take the radio. Uh, we still need support equipment, which is only 90 days. So I think we're going to research our support equipment. And hopefully we can start making that so we can get some engineers and recon uh, going on. Now my oil is almost up and my ships are all completely trained. We do have the upgrade ship button since we made a new... Uh, we have two new uh, versions, but we don't have to. And we are going to start training them, because we want our naval experience to make our boats better. Okay, we are going to get corporatism very soon. There we go. Which also gave us some political power, so we can uh, maybe pick our chief of air force or something else. But let's take a look first, there are three here. Um, we do have some time still before we reach 60% fascism. So we don't have to focus on these two right now. We can look a bit over here. And uh, I would love to get a research slot. But then I also need to get this one. And it would actually be really cool because we will get five free units. They are small, but they are pretty strong. They have a very high experience. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with this one and then maybe the research slot. And then I will annex Uruguay, and then I will do these two focuses. I think that is a good uh, order. Uh, we also have a lot of political power, so let's take a look what we are going to do with it. Uh, I think I'm just going to get the Chief of Air Force so that we can get our air experience going. Um, air superiority plus 10% or night operation. Let's get the air superiority bonus. I always like to do uh, air superiority and close air support. And use it for my armies. I'm not really a bomber or anything else. I don't I don't use other planes that much. Now we will go to war economy when we are fascist. So we need to keep this 150 points in the bank at some point. Because then we get way more civilian factories. I only built one extra for now, so it's going very slowly. But um, when we annex and integrate the countries around us, Chile, Paraguay and Uruguay, we will be a lot stronger. Brazil and the state of emergency. This morning, President Getulio of Brazil announced over the radio that the nation was entering yet another state of emergency due to the risk of a coup by the Communist Party. According to the president, documents were found that indicated the communists were in the late stage of planning to overthrow the government. The validity of these documents is being questioned, but many 
uh, but by many, but members of the opposition parties are now going underground for fear of arrest. The president announced that he would establish a new state with a new constitution that gives greater authority to himself. What this means for the future of democracy in Brazil remains to be seen. The Bolshevik traders get what they deserved. Okay, a couple of things are coming up. First, research. Support equipment is researched, so we can take a new thing. It is 1937, so I want to get all the uh, next industrial tax since we have the bonus. Uh, let's start with construction. I think that is more important. And let's put in our support equipment that we absolutely need for a lot of things. So let's put it a bit higher up. Let's put it in the, the second slot. Maybe, no, let's put it in the third slot after our artillery. We don't have enough military factories to... Uh, make all this stuff. We even need more infantry equipment to uh, fulfill all our troops over here. Now we're gonna complete this one, the Ligas Patrioticas. There we go. And that gave us five of these units over here. Uh, these are four trucks, but they do have level four seasoned, so they are pretty strong. And we can use that for the invasion. So shift click over here, right click over here. For the invasion of Uruguay. And I'm going to make some changes here as well. Now I'm here. The uh, cavalry we aren't going to use. We put this back to the division of infantry. And I'm also not interested in using mountaineers I think. So we are going to make that infantry as well. And let's take a new focus. Uh, how is our fascist going along? 47% so we do have some room. I think we're going to go for the research slot next. Since we only have two. Okay, we have 150 points, so we could get another thing over here. And, uh, yeah, there are a couple of things that are really cool. This one gives support for unaligned, which is not what I want. Uh, war support is nice, but that will not be a problem later on. Um, so we have the captain of industry to build infrastructure and civilian factories quicker. Or we pick the financial expert and get minus 15% consumer goods factories factor. I wonder if that gives me an extra civilian factory. So let's hope and pray because I'm going to pick that one. And the answer is yes. So this will this will help with ste uh, steamrolling civilian factories. So I think that is a good option. Now with the rest of my political power we are going to uh, get our military high commands. And then we are going to bank our political power to in uh, integrate all the states when we are at peace with them. Completed concentrated industry. So we're gonna pick the, I guess the production efficiency cap. Do we have efficiency caps reached for the guns they are? And we need guns, so yeah, let's go and get the efficiency cap over here. Anarchist uprising in Spanish Civil War. The Regional Defense Council of Aragon declared war. And the Carlists are not there yet, but they come later as well. Uh, we are playing on historical, so we know that Nationalist Spain is going to win this. Um, I'm also going to use my army experience right now to make some changes to our templates here. So this will become my defense. Oh wait, we should first uh, duplicate it. Before we do something else. There we go. Um, no, actually not. We can make this our defense template. Uh, infantry. Defense. We're gonna rename it. And we'll duplicate it. And then we are gonna make an attacking template. Uh, infantry attack. And for the infantry attack, I'm gonna add a cannon over here. An artillery. We could do motorized. We do have some trucks. What is the difference between motorized and normal? Let's take a look at this actually. So this is what we get when we do motorized. We are going to keep everything the same, but we are going to lose a bit of breakthrough. We have more breakthrough with the uh, the trucks. And do I have the trucks in the stockpile? Well, of course we do, because no non-templates are getting changed. Um, am I going to use trucks for this? I'm also going to use trucks for the uh, recon, I think. So then we're going to use a lot of trucks suddenly. Maybe we should just do normal artillery. Yeah, let's put one normal artillery in. And actually I'm going to put two in. For now. Um, we could put in some anti-air. Did I make some anti-air already? Nah, not really. 
Not gonna be bothered by that. Uh, let's give it a little symbol. Let's make it uh, swords. Actually, let's make my uh, attacking infantry the star, since I also use the star over here. And we're gonna save this template. And then we can maybe change a couple of my units to the attacking template. Okay, we can do like three of them. Yes, we don't have the infantry equipment, but we do have the cannons, almost. So, we're gonna do this. And these three are actually going into a, a different order over here, because they will be uh, the main attacking army. There we go. Uh, we could do some doctrines, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't have the discount. So uh, yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, there we go. We are going to get 100 points. So we can do something over here. And I think I will. We're at 51 fascism, so we have some room still. Uh, division attrition. The recovery rate or the ships. I don't think I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to pick these three, I think. And let's start with the attrition minus 8%. Since we will be fighting in uh, these, hor these horrible circumstances. Now we're going to complete fascist researches very soon. So let's just uh, keep going. And then we have an extra research slot, which is going to help us tremendously. Okay, what are we going to do next? Um, I'm not going to spend my political power on any of the propaganda political actions because we are fine with reaching this a little bit slower. Um, let's see. We could do quickly the crackdown on corruption. It will help with construction speed and war support and... Yeah, let's do this one real quick. It's only 35 days. And I think we will not reach 60% before we are going to click the button. Now we have a new research slot. Let's do the industry one since we have the bonuses and it is 1937. Oh, and a lot of things are happening in China. So let's take a look. The Guangxi cliques joins the Chinese United Front. Xi Bai San joins it. And Yunnan as well. So um, all these Chinese countries join. I think Shaanxi is going to join as well. And yeah, I think uh, Japan is going to attack China very soon. Very historical. It should happen because we are playing on historical. So uh, I will be back when that happens. The Hindenburg incident disaster was narrowly averted today when a diesel fuel leak was discovered on the German passenger ship airship the Hindenburg as it came into dock at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station in the United States. RIP. There are videos on YouTube of it. So if you want to see that, look for the Hindenburg disaster. Okay, we have cracked down our corruption, so we have less penalties and we get a bit more political power as well, I think. We are at 53%. I think it is time for us to go to war with Uruguay with establishing a foothold. We gain the NX war goal against Uruguay and we are going to win this fairly easily. Let's go with that focus over here. Um, I think it's time to use some of our points to... Not for the doctrines, but the modify officer corps. So we will take a look at these. Um, th these can give bonuses to a lot of things. So let's take a look uh, for the level one of the army over here. So I normally take this one. So when we level up, we get one extra attack, 50% chance. You can do defense as well. Uh, oh, the we're gonna pick this one actually, because the uh, the. The second row, the Party Popularity Stability Modifier, is huge. It is absolutely huge that you get that one. Especially when you are having a high amount of your ruling party in power. And we will be 60-70% fascist. And that will give us a huge stability bonus. Right now it's 3.8% because we are uh, non-aligned and we only have... We only have, we, we only have uh, a little bit of Concordancia over here, 26%. So if I pick this thing here, then look what happens to the ruling party popularity. It's 7.7%. And stability gives us more political power, the factories will have more output, and the dockyard will have more, more output. So having high stability is very important, and this slot is helping this with this tremendously. So I always pick that one. From now on, uh, we can pick the second one here. 
Uh, this one would lower our land doctrine costs. Uh, more entrenchment speed I don't care about. Railway gun bombardment we don't do. Planning speed I don't care about. We have the time. More command power we don't really need. Cavalry we're not really using. And field officer division penalty. I'm not really sure what that does. So um, I will go with the officer professional officer corps. So we have minus 5 land doctrine costs for the rest of the game. Now let's take a look at the naval stuff. 20% chance to get plus 1 attack level up. Defense. Maneuvering. Starting level of new navy leaders. Plus 2%. Uh, plus 2. Sorry. And we get... Uh, and people have less naval intelligence to me. Or we pick this one. I think I'm going to go with the attack one. Maneuvering and coordination. Is that... What do they mean with that? Well, we know that you become my commander of the main fleet because you are the iron side gunnery and you are just perfect. But this is positioning, right? And that is coordination. So do I get the bonuses for both for that one? We will get a massive fleet when we annex the things and, I, and we need maneuvering for our positioning I think so maybe we should get this one. Now what do we have here? Uh, destroy your research speed, lightship design costs, not really needed, uh, MIO organization. Does it mean that my MIO will be 80% cheaper? By clicking things. That is insane. Uh, naval experience plus 15%. Can be really cool. Ship modules research and ship refitting speed and repair speed. We will be repairing our ships a lot. Maybe we should do the repair speed. Nah. Let's, let's try this one and see what the MIO minus 80% thing is. And over here we can get screen attack. So my destroyers in the main uh, battle fleet will be better. And better penetration from uh, screening with my torpedoes. Uh, that's not very important. Meh. Positioning is really cool to have. But let's go with the close combat. And we do have some points for the air experience as well. So let's pick one. Uh, air advisor costs. That's just one click. So not a big fan of that one. Uh, light aircraft research speed. We will use that at some point. Air wing training experience gain, no. More air experience. But we already get plus 3, 0.10 is, not, is nothing really. And this one gives air doctrine cost minus 15%. So we go with that one. So that my doctrines are getting uh, selected very quickly. Now we have two slots open, but we don't have enough points for that. So we will keep going. And we are done constructing. So let's get another civilian factory and we are going to build it over here. Uh, we opened the slot thanks to our technologies and then we have 60% infrastructure so this one will be built the quickest. And I think that will be a nice point to make a cut here. I hope you like the uh, the way I make the video uh, with, with the pauses in between. Let me know if you like that more than uh, seeing everything. Uh, at least we are going f way quicker through the game this way when nothing happens. So let me know if you like it this way and then i see you in the next video guys don't forget to like put a comment in the video and uh, yeah i see you in uh, part two bye bye